Uh, if you watch the CNN coverage, there is a gentleman, some of you probably know who it is, and I can't remember if he's, if he's an architect or an engineer, who is brought on to CNN during the coverage to tell us why the towers came down. And it's structural failure. And you have to remember that you have the anchor, Aaron Brown, standing there saying when one of the towers comes down, it almost looks like it almost looks like one of those planned implosions. But of course it couldn't be. And we have other reporters, he says wrote to one of his uh, you know, people out in the field, Rose, what do you got? You know, what's what happening? Well, the whole top of the tower just blew up. He's getting this. This is on CNN. So then this guy is dragged on to say this is structural failure. How would he have possibly have known that? on 9-11 with no investigation. So if you ask me what I really think, what the evidence suggests, I think that there was a plan. And I think they started right away. Signor mm -hmm. Imposimato. Yes. Uh, I agree with Mr. Uh, with the Professor McQueen in order to uh, in order the opportunity to start a new expertise. It seems that there is a contradiction between the firefighters and the ordinary citizens who, who were present to have it. The issue could only be settled by a scientific analysis ordered by the New York City prosecutor, prosecutor carried out by physicists, ballistic experts, and chemists. I suggest to send this analysis of Professor McKean and other analysis to New York City prosecutor asking for a, a new investigation that could be uh, carried out in the respect of principle of the uh, due process of law with the contradiction by with the participation both of official expert and uh, uh, victim expert and uh, association expert. This is the solution, according to my opinion. And you agree about this suggestion? <laughs> well, I think the suggestion is excellent in terms of what needs to be done. But I'm not sure that I understand your premise when you say there appears to be a contradiction between the firefighters' accounts and other civilians on the scene. I don't see a contradiction. The reason why there are so many more firefighters is simply because we were given a text of 12,000 pages, and there they are. And we have to hunt for the civilians. Nobody, not the FBI, not NIS, not the 9-11 Commission, as far as we know, carried out a proper investigation of these eyewitnesses. So we don't know how many. There may be thousands of them. Thank you. Professor Lee, here's a tough one. Could uh, someone uh, uh, from popular mechanics uh, <laughs> assemble 156 statements that, from eyewitnesses on the day of that didn't mention explosions? Right. And would that kind of cancel out right. this? Right. Good question. Um, it's difficult for me to answer the question when it comes to civilians and journalists simply because this would be a very large research project. You would have to gather all the statements in the newspapers and on TV, radio and everything and that would be a, a lot of work and then you would try and work out which ones talk about explosions, which ones seem to be supporting structural failure and so on. However, I did try to do this in my 2006 article on the firefighters. I was curious to know, if I read these 10,000 pages, whether I, how many explosion references there would be, but also how many references there would be that would seem to support a structural failure hypothesis. Um, and especially since they seem to be talking about pancaking a lot, how many would support that? So in the article, I did try to, um, to draw a list of both the explosion witnesses and the kind of structural failure people. And the structural failure column tended, was very small compared to the eyewitnesses. I don't remember anymore. There's something like 21 people as compared with 118, something like that. I can see uh, 
twisting and dragging. Is that another question? No, thank you. Uh, Professor Lee. Well, um, since we have a couple more minutes, um, I'm very intrigued. You had the, um, some reporter asked Giuliani um, and uses the word, the female reporter uses the word explosions and so on as, as a given. And um, I, but you don't mention Giuliani's response. <laughs> yes, so as I say, he was asked twice during the day. When he's asked in the morning about the explosion, it's actually Aaron Brown, anchor for CNN, who asked him. Giuliani, I don't remember his exact words, but he basically says, I don't know. In the afternoon, by 2.39, he sort of knows. He says, we now think that it's just the planes. Because he certainly is a prima facie candidate for an insider. Well, I mean, I assume he was briefed. I don't see how else he could have discovered within a few hours that this was not a controlled... Again, it's absurd to think that somebody could have discovered on 9-11 itself why these buildings came down. So somebody, I assume, briefed him or whatever. Do we have, do we have other questions? Thank you very much. Thank you for We're going to break now. Uh, we will uh, recess for the next 15 minutes. We're running a little bit ahead of schedule, and uh, that will give us more time for uh, to devote to the coming uh, presentation. So I would ask you to, be, to return to your seats, please, a little bit before uh, 10.05. Thank you.